Well, her story and her message about putting children in school has a resonance not just for her own country, but for all those countries which have big numbers of out-of-school children, Afghanistan, um, India, and also Nigeria. Let's get a sense of reaction in the world's newsroom because Anne-Marie Tomchak is there. Um, she did seem to start trending pretty soon after this interview uh, was broadcast, Anne-Marie. Yes, Michelle, I've been looking at some data analytics on Malala and on the number of tweets and where and when people have tweeted about her. And over the past year, there have been a million tweets worldwide using the word Malala. Now, most of those happened shortly after the attack a year ago and also on the day that she addressed the UN on her birthday in July this year. And in the last 12 hours alone, there have been 11 thousand tweets about Malala. No doubt there'll be more as other parts of the world wake up and start their day. Now, appropriately, we have an all-female lineup here in the world's newsroom today. Mavish from the Urdu service, Sana from BBC Pashto, and Manoshi from the Bangla service. Mavish, a year, almost a year on, where is Pakistan in terms of education for girls now? Um, sadly, I don't think that a lot has changed uh, in terms of ground realities for education for girls in Pakistan right now. You know, when uh, Malala was shot, there was a lot of public sentiment against the Taliban and there was, uh, you know, the, it seemed as if, you know, it could be a turning point. People called it a turning point. But um, since then, not much, uh, you know, has been done, especially the government has made some noises about education being a priority. They've said that they're going to do a literacy campaign have a hundred percent literacy in Pakistan uh, you know in another few years or something but in uh, the reality is that uh, you know schools have been destroyed particularly in the region that Malala is from and uh, they haven't been rebuilt and it is becoming more and more difficult to get access to education. Manoshi, Bangladesh has had a slightly different experience. Yes, uh, there have been improvements in terms of access to education, particularly primary education. In Bangladesh, primary education is compulsory and free, and also the government actually gives stipend to female um, schoolgoers. So there is a tendency that um, girl children actually carry on till they're 7 or 11. But there is a problem because the access to education for primary and lower uh, secondary level is good, but uh, the in enrollment rate for upper secondary and tertiary education is still low because in rural areas, actually women are married off, girls are married off early, they're expected to take a bigger role in household work. So, you know, as far as secondary, upper secondary and tertiary education is concerned, there we actually see less girls. Sana, what about talks with the Taliban? It's been said that this is the only way that peace will eventually be achieved and that progress can be made. Ironically, many people agree with Malala on this one. They say that's the only way to end the conflict in Pakistan and in Afghanistan. But when we when we see that there is there are attacks happening on girls' school. Women, girls get poisoned at schools, and then the authorities are quick to blame that on Taliban. But th what it does is that shifts away from the original problem, which is the society and the attitudes of the society. Talibans are not the only opponents to female education in Pakistan and in Afghanistan. We should keep that in mind. And that's what's happening. So the real problem is the society and the culture and the attitude. Ladies, thanks for being with us on World's Newsroom today. Michelle, before I go, I just wanted to let you know that uh, the places where most people have been tweeting about Malala have been the US over the past year, 300, over 300,000 tweets. But the second highest number of tweets have come from the Philippines interestingly, then followed by Pakistan. How interesting. Not what I would have expected, Anne-Marie. I'm worth looking into um, that data at some other point. Thank you. Anne-Marie Tomczak in the World's Newsroom. Stay with us here on uh, Impact on BBC World News.